Hey guys, Dan from Generation Productions, and um, here back to explain what happened with the whole uh, video recently, the, the uh, Joker kind of video I did recently. Now, that was actually part of a dare that a guy who was part of a live stream of called Vinny G did as a punishment for doing a, basically carrying on his live stream and, and jokingly said, can I dox one of his um, moderators? Because that moderator was driving me nuts. So, yeah. But anyway, again, sorry Vinny G for that. But to be honest, mate, I really think you need to get clear your head, mate. Because right now, your head's all messed up right now, Vinny G. I mean, you said it yourself. Your life is basically feels like your life is fucked up right now. And it feels like your life is going through hell right now. And I do apologise for that, man. Uh, sorry I was the last straw that broke the camel's back for mucking around. Um, but the fact of the matter is, Vinny G, mate, I'm not, I'm not a troll. I'm not an arsehole. Well, maybe I am an arsehole. But the point being is, I'm, I know where my limitations are. And no, I wasn't that, I wasn't that guy who, uh, who come and trolled you. I can't remember that. I think that guy's name was supposed to be, um... Mo Lester or something. Um, yeah, I went and checked one of your videos because I wanted to see if you did. Was uh, check one when you went live. I wanted to check your video so I could see if uh, you're going to say anything about the video I did for you. But uh, yeah, that bloke came in and you thought it was me. Now, mate, I have left you alone. I'm not going to go anywhere. And like I said, I have left you alone. I haven't messaged you now. I haven't done anything recently. Um, so, I'm sorry, mate, that people have been trolling you and you think it's me or someone that has been trolling you and has said it's me. Um, but I swear to God, mate, it wasn't me, okay? I'm not that kind of person to do trolling, okay? Or at least trolling from a multiple account. That's not me. That's a big thing for everybody. Look, if I'm going to troll you, I'd do it on my own account and just jokingly troll. I would never go out of the way to actually uh, be mean or nasty or horrible or anything like that. When it comes to trolling, I try and make jokes. Um, I try and you know just muck around. So that's that's sort of what I do if I do start tro if I do troll now and then. But even then, that's even a rarity because I don't do trolling very often. Um, and the same thing with just playing up straight up joking, which was what happened in that video. Now you can take it either way you want, mate. Um, but to be honest, um, like I said, it was a joke. Now, if Move Me Mouth took it out of context that, that I was basically was actually going to legitly dox her, well, that's her problem, mate. That's not our problem, okay? What problem was? Yes, all right, all right. Maybe I did buzz you too much. Uh, but the problem is, you were talking about me, and you didn't expect me to respond in that live stream, mate. So how does that work? You talk about me, but you don't expect me to react, that, that, that's silly, mate. I'm not going to not react. If you start talking talking about me, whether it be shit or truth, I'm not going to, you know, not sit back here and just take it, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm here to talk to you. I'm here to message you. I'm here, I was here to be uh, as a friend. And to be honest, like I said, like as I was as Joker Dan, like I said, as Joker Dan, um, more or less, Joker Dan made the point, made some very stupid points. You've been... Basically, Jessica, Kirsty, or whoever else you've got on your uh, moderator admins, they've basically made a joke out of you, mate. They, they're ruined, They're basically controlling your channel, and anything they have a problem with, they basically delete messages and delete people and block people. And basically, they have the run of your channel. You have no control over your channel no more, mate. And that's really sad. Look, I don't know what it is that's happened to you recently this last week because I, I had a, I was cold, had a cold and I was sick myself last week. But that being said, I don't know what happened. But as far as I know, mate, um, you're a good bloke, and it's really sad to see that a bunch of women who don't know any better are basically using your channel as basically to make it make. Uh, make a joke out of you. You, you, know, you were brilliant, mate. You, know, you had that smile and wave, boys, smile and wave, and you had that very uh, go-getter attitude. Now, 
it just kind of sucks that the whole smile and wave boy attitude is completely gone out of your life right now, Vinny G. It really sucks. Um, you know, you're a great bloke. You're an awesome bloke. Hell, I even looked up to you. Um, but right now, mate, you're basically being treated like an idiot. And you're not an idiot. You said it yourself. You're not an idiot. You do stuff for people. You've done stuff for people. You've donated money to people. You've done um, various jobs and things. So, and and you and you know, and, and even though you feel like you're retarded, by the way, you're not retarded, and that's a personal fact, Vinny G. You're not a retard. Um, you may have a disability, but you're not retarded, and that is the truth. Um. You know, you go out there on your tractor. You you, know, you you work on your property. You, know, you do so much, mate. And to see all that go to hell, mainly because maybe something's happened in your life with your wife. Maybe something's happened in life with your kids. Or maybe there's just you know, ha something's happened in your life again, whether you've had another um, stroke or something. I don't know. Whatever's gone wrong, mate, I have no idea. But to be honest, mate, um, I am sorry that basically here it is in a nutshell. I'm sorry that I upset you. I thought we were just mucking around. Um, you said, I did what you said and I stayed away. So basically whoever it was who was trolling you, that, that wasn't me. Okay. And also another thing, well, I'm not just a little bit on that note. There are some things I don't joke about. Uh, and one thing I don't joke about is when people have issues. I believe what that bloke said to you was something along the lines of about showing your weak arm to prove that you, you know, you had, you, know, you had some sort of problem. But I don't, I don't see that funny. I really don't because I don't make fun of medical conditions. And I don't make fun of disabilities, and I don't make fun of life-threatening conditions like having strokes or stuff. Why? Because my own father had strokes before he died. My own grandma had strokes before she died. So I would never, ever make a joke about you having a stroke. Never. So if someone did, that's not me. I'm just telling you that straight, mate. Um, and also I made that uh, Joker Dan video because you dared me to do that. And basically that was a response. Basically that, that's the video... I did for you, mate. So you can actually have a laugh about it. Although I did tell some truths, and I do apologise. Maybe I cut. Maybe I was um, a little bit too asshole there for that. I do apologise for that. But yeah, mate. All I can say is I'm a little bit disappointed in you because you know you were a brilliant mate. You, you know, I stuck it in there with you. I was there with you when you were. In, well, I was there for you when you were in the hospital in your chat talking to you. I was there afterwards, and even even before that, I was basically your best mate. Well, not really your best mate, but you know, just your mate there on on YouTube and listening to you. And you now, when you you know, threw up a thing for, to subscribe to some person who was going through depression, I went and subscribed to that guy. Um, you know, stuff like that. I respect you, Vinny G. I love you, mate, and I mean love you in the sense of you know, like a father brother, you know, father son, or um. You know, best friend kind of way, love you, mate. But uh, right now, I think you, I think you might need to check your blood pressure tablets because I think um, maybe you're going a little bit crazy and you're stressed and you're tired, crazy, stressed and tired. Uh, you know, just being stressed, tired, and um, having high blood pressure. Not a good combination. And I recommend maybe you go check your doctor out and tell them about maybe changing your blood pressure tablets. Because I know I was feeling sick and crazy the last few weeks because I was having problems with my blood pressure. So maybe, mate, maybe that's the same with you. I don't know. But look, me and you, I just want to say I'm sorry um, if I pissed you off. And also, I do want to say that um, more or less that also... I'm sorry that uh, the other bloke pissed you off as well. Um, he had nothing to do with me. The other bloke just came in there and had a go at you. And I do apologise if I came in there a little bit mid midstream while you're trying to uh, fight that guy. And basically, yeah, I'm sorry for that, mate. But uh, it's all up to you now, mate. 
Uh, oh, what I was want to say is I'm sorry, and I've done sort of what you've asked. Um, I gave a few. Re I'll, get, I'll put some reasons for another person in the comment section of why I didn't do some of the things you asked me to do because, yeah, I'm not going to do that. Um, but I did sort of loosely do what you asked. So, yeah. But I think, mate, you need to let stuff go. Um, don't hold grudges. Let go. Like you said, smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. And keep doing it. And if things are getting under your skin, or you're starting to, starting to feel that you know, you're being uh, trolled too much by other people, or whatever the main, maybe the case is, Maybe someone's got some, maybe some person, not mentioning names, but maybe someone's got something on you and you feel like you have to be worried about what that person's got on you. I don't know. But, mate, overall, just I just feel like you just got to learn, let to learn, learn, learn to let everything go, like you've been saying. You know, practice what you preach, mate. And above all, stay safe. God bless you, mate. And... If you keep me blocked, that's perfectly up to you. Um, but uh, that's why I say you have been a good mate, and I do. I still like. I do love and care about you as a friend and as a you know a mate on YouTube. But that's no, I don't care about you in a sexual way. That's just stupid. Uh, but overall, mate, just overall, I do care about you, and I'm sorry that I pissed you off because well, that wasn't my aim to piss you off. Um, but anyway, man, I hope you have a good day for the rest of it. Stay safe and God bless you. And like I said, maybe, like I said, just, but this is just, just another final thought. Like my Joker Dan said, maybe if things are starting to get on top of you, mate, maybe you need to take a break from YouTube. As much as you say you don't want to, maybe you have to because, yeah, you may say, thank God for the internet, but to be honest, even though God made the, well, God gave people ideas to make the internet, it can also be a good servant, but a bad master, and, um, being, that being said, as you're seeing yourself, mate, you're being stalked, you're being harassed, you're being, um, trolled, and all sorts of stuff right now, and it's getting on top of you, mate, it's really starting to get on top of you, and you're starting to get a high blood pressure, and you're starting to maybe go a little bit nuts yourself, and I go a little bit crazy because of this. And speaking from experience myself, I know that's not a good place to be. So, mate, I do really care about you. And I just want to say, catch you later, mate. And I hope you feel better soon. And like I said, sorry for upsetting you because that was not what I had. Uh, that was not my intention. I thought we were mucking around. I thought we were joking. I thought I thought you were having fun. So, obviously you weren't. And I'm sorry. Okay, later people, bye.